A very big hello to all my dear students. Today I am here to talk about a very interesting clinical scenario. So a young male of around 25 years presents in the OPD. Now he is complaining of sudden diminution of vision two days back. He has redness, pain, photophobia and the eye. And after taking a history in detail, we find there is a history of trauma which happened seven days back by some plastic object on his eye. We examine this patient, the vision is quite low, around finger count at 3 meters. And on examination, we see there is a conjunctival congestion, we can see a self-sealed corneal laceration. When we examine this patient under the slit lamp, apart from the aqueous cells, what are we looking at? Oh my god, there was a big eyelash lying there in his anterior chamber. So now the story seemed a little clearer now, there was some corneal injury, the eyelash went inside and the corneal injury just healed. This is causing a lot of reaction in this patient with a lot of UV, all the signs of uveitis. Of course we want to do a serial test here, we want to see if there is any leakage which was negative and we had to investigate all around in terms of the patient of trauma. So ultrasound B scan was done, x-ray orbit was done, everything was fine. We treated this patient on the lines of inflammation that is uveitis. The inflammation was very severe, so we had to give oral steroids as well. So he was given Visalon, 40 milligrams OD. So this patient was then treated by, by under topical and oral steroids. And after two weeks, he gained his, his vision now was 6 by 12. But yes, there was still reaction in the anterior chamber, aqueous cells and uh, even reactive hypopion. So the treatment was continued and along with that removal of the eyelash was planned. So this eyelash was surgically removed from the anterior chamber and the medical treatment was continued and after four to five weeks this patient has his vision back to six by six with some residual astigmatism. So was it not interesting? So stay tuned with us we are going to discuss more and more interesting clinical scenarios here. Thank you, stay blessed, keep smiling.